This is Unit 1, Lesson 5, the video for constructing a square inscribed in a triangle. So we're going to construct a square inscribed in circle T below. The first step is to draw a diameter. A diameter extends from one end of the circle to the other through the center. So basically the part of the square that we have just drawn is one of the diagonals. We know that the diagonals intersect at right angles, so what we're going to do, and they cut each other in half, by the way, that is also true, we're going to construct the perpendicular bisector. So we put our compass point at one end, open it more than halfway, and make an arc that goes above and below. Make sure it is going both above and below. So a lot of people on their homework only doing it on one side. We transfer this to the other end point, make an arc that goes above and below. Where those two arcs intersect, we can put points, and through those two points, we can put a line. So now that we have the perpendicular bisector drawn, you must draw the perpendicular bisector for this construction. Where that bisector intersects the circle, those are the other two endpoints of the square or, in this case, the other diagonal of the square. So we're going to connect the original endpoints of the diameter to those points of intersection of the bisector. Having all sorts of technology issues right now. And there is our square inscribed in a circle. We're going to practice this again two more times. Um, in these two examples, they want you to use a given point on the circle. Um, so if you want to pause this and try this on your own before watching um, and getting help, you can do that. Um, or you can watch and then pause for the next one. So the first step is to draw a diameter. I'm going to draw a diameter so that P is one of the endpoints. The reason I'm doing that is it told us to label our square PQRS specifically. So I need one of the endpoints to be P. Drag my compass down. Again, the diameter represents one of the diagonals of the square. What do the diagonals of the square do to one another? They bisect each other and they are perpendicular to one another. So we are going to construct the perpendicular bisector of the square or of this diameter that we've drawn. that out of the way. So where those two inter arcs intersect, you can put points, and through those two points, you can put a line. All right, so where the bisector intersects the circle, that is where you are going to put the other two endpoints of your square. Here's one, here's two, and again, we use the original endpoints of the diameter Hence, that's why P is one of them. And we connect those points to form the square. If you only put the points and don't make the final figure, you are not done and you will lose credit. Or points. You have the construction, you just didn't finish. You also need to remember to label. Right, so we have P, Q, R, and S. So don't forget to label. Labeling is important. We'll do this one more time. Construct a square in circle. T, or construct a square T-E-M-P in circle G below. Don't know what happened on my problem. Okay, so the first step is to draw a diameter. Again, we want T to be one of the endpoints of that diameter. There we go. We're going to do the perpendicular bisector. The diagonals of the square bisect each other and are perpendicular to one another. So make sure your compass is open more than halfway. Make an arc. Transfer your compass to the other endpoint of the diameter. Make an arc. We're going to draw a perpendicular bisector through the two points of intersection. Where that bisector intersects the circle are the other two endpoints of my square. The first two endpoints 
are the endpoints of the diameter. And don't forget to connect those endpoints to form the square, because I don't see a square in there yet. And don't forget if it asks you to label, to label. So they wanted this label T-E-M-P. Okay, it doesn't matter where I start. So let's do T-E-M-M-P this time. And that's it for this lesson.